What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today we are back to have a look at two of the most exciting and most interesting and most combo-inducing cards from Wave 2 of the Transformers TCG Rise of the Combiners. We're going to be taking a look at Ancient Wisdom and unleash potential. And ladies and gentlemen, these could really, really shape up how this game is played. And the good news is that now that all the cards have been out, we're going to be coming thick and fast with these battle cards. And we're going to be trying to kind of pair them up and go through themes so I can analyze them just that little bit faster for you lovely ladies and gentlemen. So Ancient Wisdom then has got an orange battle icon, good if you're attacking. And it's an action card that reads, scrap the top two cards of your deck. Put an action and an upgrade scrap this way into your hand. You may play Unleash Potential. So, just off the top of your bat, this is good. At the moment, we've got Treasure Hunt, which lets you dig for upgrades. It lets you scrap the top four cards of your deck and put all upgrades you find into your hand. This is not that card. It's nowhere near as good. But if you scrap an action and an upgrade, it's essentially draw two. Draw two in the Transformers TCG is actually really good. Drawing two is better than a lot of the draw cards we've got. But what's really exciting here is that you may play Unleash Potential. What does that do, Wossy, I hear you ask? Well, it's got a blue icon, and you cannot play it on its own. Well, that's not strictly true. You can, but it just doesn't do anything. But if you've played Ancient Wisdom this turn, you choose a battle card you own from outside the game that has one star and put it into your hand. Bit of future proofing here. At the moment in Wave 2, the only star battle cards we have are one star battle cards, but there's nothing to stop two star or more being introduced in the future. So this wording here is just a little bit of future proofing. This is phenomenal i've talked in a couple of videos about sideboarding about having cards from outside of the game that you can pop in between rounds this is mid game sideboarding and okay you've got to pull off the two card combo here you've got to play ancient wisdom and then play unleash potential but you know what when you play ancient wisdom you scrap the top two cards of your deck if one of them is unleashed potential you put it into your hand and then you can immediately play it it's an obvious combo but it's one that's there if you can get this rolling this is absolutely phenomenal and i talk about sideboarding here one of the cards that i was lucky enough to reveal for this wave was vandalize and vandalize is a phenomenal card if you've got a sideboard. You see, Vandalize is one of these star cards. And Vandalize says that you can either discard all of your opponent's weapons, all of their armor, or all of their utilities. It's not all of them, ladies and gentlemen. It is one type. So if you're against a Megatron living weapon, and they're rocking multiple weapons, as that card is wont to do, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty gosh darn awesome. If you're not, then it's rubbish. So what you do is you just have this in your binder, have it in your deck box. And then if you're able to pull off the Ancient Wisdom Unleashed Potential combo, you grab your Vandalize from your bag, wherever it might be, and then you get to put it into your hand, and then you're rolling. Now, incidentally... You will not be able to immediately play it because your action for the turn is Ancient Wisdom. Unleash Potential, unfortunately, is just a little extra for Ancient Wisdom. Together, they're your action for the turn. I love the fact that it lets you pick up an action from outside the game. And that is, I cannot stress how redonk that is. But do please remember, you will have to wait a turn to do so. And there's nothing to stop your opponent playing something like a System Reboot and forcing you to discard those cards from your hand. The thing is, let's say they do. Let's say they play a system reboot and get rid of this. It's still in your scrap. You can still get it back. It was outside the game, and you definitely couldn't play it. It's now in your scrap pile, so maybe you recover it. Or maybe you just wait, and your scrap pile gets shuffled and becomes your deck, and then that card that wasn't in your deck is now in your deck. 
And essentially here, this just leaves me to two, I think, fairly obvious questions. Question number one, which characters can really take advantage of this? And question number two, hey, what star cast do we have again? And in terms of characters that can take advantage of this, I'm essentially looking at two things. Can I play extra actions? And can I draw? And honestly, the card that really jumps to mind with this for me is the new Bumblebee. I think the new Bumblebee here is kind of crazy, over-the-top, awesomely great with this. You see, Bumblebee's got two skills, as these you know characters tend to do when they're not vanilla. And when you are in bot mode, you can, if you wish, discard an action from your hand and draw two cards. Now... Please bear in mind at this stage, ladies and gentlemen, that you really need to be able to have the two-card combo going on here. Drawing is very, very important, and drawing these two cards with Bumblebee makes it more likely that you're going to be able to get this rolling. Once again, worth reminding you here, you are already looking at essentially the top two cards of your deck of Ancient Wisdom, and if there's an Unleashed Potential, you get it. Now, with Bumblebee, you're drawing two cards, then you're using this. So, essentially, if it's in the top four cards, you're golden. But then with Bumblebee, when you flip it into alt mode, you may play an action. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is also really good. Now, what you might be doing here is playing a Brainstorm. And then Brainstorm lets you play one action, and Brainstorm's really good, because it lets you play a second. So what you can do is play Brainstorm to play Ancient Wisdom, then play Unleash Potential, which I'm 99% sure does not count as your second action because you played that with Ancient Wisdom. Now you can still play an action for the turn, and oh look, you've just picked up an action with a star card. You can play it immediately. Or... If we go back to Bumblebee for a second, maybe you don't play Brainstorm. Maybe you just flip Bumblebee and play the action. Pick up the action with a star card using Unleashed Potential and then immediately flip Bumblebee. If instead it's an upgrade that's a star card, we've got Megatron Arrogant Ruler, which does the same thing, exactly, exactly the same two abilities. It's just for upgrades, not for actions. So that will work quite nicely. Don't forget Autobot Mirage lets you play extra actions. And of course, we've got Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend, which lets you play extra actions that you flip when you are attacking. So we've got some options for playing extra actions here. And then really, we need to take a quick look at what draw power we've got. I mean, if we go back to wave one here we've got things like system reboot that i mentioned earlier each player scraps a hand and draws four cards we've got backup plan draw your hand and draw three cards does nothing to your opponent and obviously if you've got one part of the combo in hand don't do this but if you don't we've got equipment enthusiast here which lets you draw one card for each upgrade that you currently have. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention Agility of Bumblebee here. Whack it on a Bumblebee and when you attack, you get to draw a card. Bearing in mind I've already said that Bumblebee is a pretty good one to go for here. And going back to the Bumblebee Mirage combo, let's not forget Team Up Tactics, that if you've got a car in play, just lets you draw two cards. I am not saying that Bumblebee and Autobot Mirage is the only way to play this combo, not for a second. But I am saying that they're both cars, and you've got stuff like Agility of Bumblebee and Team Up Tactics, and they both let you play extra actions. And remember, once you've got that star card in your hand, you probably want to play it as soon as you possibly can. But essentially here, any character that draws cards is going to be nice with this, because it will get you closer to using the combo. And any character that lets you play extra actions or upgrades is good here, because actions lets you get closer to the combo and then play it if you pick up an action upgrades does the same thing but it lets you play the upgrade so i suppose that leads us on to the question of all right you can bring in these star cards from out of the game well what have we got well i've already mentioned vandalized vandalized is a fantastically specific card which is only good 
at very specific times. So maybe we're not going to worry too much about that one. But one of my absolute favorites here is Leap of Faith. Scrap the top card of your deck, you may play that card. Then scrap another card from the top of your deck, you may play that card. So you just get to play extra cards. Two extra cards, in fact. That's ridiculously great. If you want an upgrade, how about Mounted Missiles? Mounted Missiles is wonderful because, firstly, it gives you plus two attack. And it's a double orange icon. And it's a weapon that gives you plus two attack that does not have to go in your weapon slot. If you're in an attacking deck, this is great. We've also got, and I think this is potentially one of the most busted here, we've got Bolt of Lightning. Bolt of Lightning just does free damage to an enemy. One of the big downsides of Bolt of Lightning, it costs a star. One of the other big downsides... It doesn't have any battle icons. So even if you've got the star to spare, you run into the issue of do you really want to put it in? Bearing in mind that you are potentially going to flip it over during an attack or defense and get no benefit from it. Well, now you don't need to worry, ladies and gentlemen, because it's not in your deck to start the game. It comes out of your binder when you're ready to play it. It is ridiculous. And there's another one I really like that we haven't looked at yet. That is Universal Network Access, which just lets you draw free cards. It's nice draw power. The thing is here, what you really want to do is just have every star card as like a three or four of just to get ready to play it into your hand with this. And here's the point. And I am 99% sure this is correct as well. You ain't limited to three of these. The general rule in the Transformers TCG is that you can only have three battle cards with each name in your deck. But these are not in your deck. They are outside the game. If you can pull off seven Ancient Wisdom and Unleashed Potential combinations, you can put seven Bolt of Lightning into your deck. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. Now, obviously, that's not going to happen. The reason I'm so sure about this ruling, incidentally, the new Grimlock puts a Dinobot from outside the game into your KO area, and then you can get it back with I Still Function, and it has been confirmed that you can use this to get another Grimlock with the same name, so I don't see any reason why the ruling would be fundamentally different here. I could sit here and gush about these two cards for the next hour, don't know if I'd necessarily need to, but I could. Any character that draws cards, any character that plays extra actions or upgrades is going to seriously need to consider playing this. I was already getting super hyped about my Bumblebee Mirage deck before I saw these cards. Now I know I've got these cards to play with. I am over the top excited. But this is a stage, ladies and gentlemen, where you tell me what you want to do with these cards. You tell me which characters you're going to play in with. Tell me which of those star cards you're going to bring in from outside the game. Also, quick reminder, these are not star cards in and of themselves. So if you've got a 25-star character, this will allow you, or 25-star team, this will allow you to bring in star cards anyway. Which totally vindicates me, because there was once or twice I mentioned star cards with combiners that couldn't play them. Now they can, and I was kind of right all along? I don't know. Go nuts in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen, but please do remember to be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, where we talk about Transformers and a whole bunch of other things. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.